So if the Holy Spirit, wherever you are at, that's the great thing about when God sent the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. You know Jesus, when you look back to what he did, he only traveled, he never did travel over 200 miles uh, and, and, and where he was at. But you know the Holy Spirit today can come and he can move all over the world at one time. Amen. Aren't you glad of that tonight? Amen. Amen.
something that when Jesus comes back, he's not coming back as a babe in a manger, weak and lowly. He's not coming back to be put on a cross again. He's not coming back to be raised up from the grave again. He's coming back as a God of judgment. He's coming back with flames of fire in his eyes and feet like fine grass. That's right. We need that illumination tonight, just like John got on the Isle of Patmos, who Jesus really is. Yeah. And he's yeah. coming back someday. Right. And I want to read this tonight. And you know, this morning I, I was preaching that and I just happened to look up and I seen a young lady that was just sitting in the back, just smirking and laughing at all of the message in the Word of God. And you know, that broke my heart when I left the church. Not because I'm angry or mad. I feel sorry for these folks. I have a passion for these I want people to get hooked up to this thing. Yeah. I want the church to be the church. Hallelujah. Right. We are the people of God. We've got something. Hallelujah. We've got the power of the Holy Ghost. We know that tonight we be able to be. You know, there's no reason. I'll say this about Green County. This is my home county. And I'll say this tonight. If every person that claimed to be born again, claimed to be a Christian, stood when they voted for the liquor stores to come in. Every person that claimed to be a Christian would have took a stand against the evil to abstain from the very appearance of evil. There wouldn't be an even thought of a liquor store opening up because the church would take a stand. That's right. And it's time for them to take a stand. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
And I appreciate it. I got to travel with one of them for about three years, I think. I was young and dumb, and now I'm just older and dumb. And, uh, but Faye took me in. We, we was with the Cashies together, and we traveled all over the place. And, and you know, you, you know, we made a statement in the church a while back. You never really know somebody until you live with them. And we use that as a, you know, talking about the Lord Jesus. You never really get to know him until you get to live with him. Amen. 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 Shoot on that little Amen. And I, what I'm saying is I got to go with Faye and got to meet some of these folks. And they are the real deal. Amen. And, uh, and I appreciate them so much. And, and is that right now? I don't want to leave a name, the number out here. So I want you to put your hands together and give a big green county welcome to 7, 8, 9, 10, the Feast family tonight. Come on.
old songs. <laughs> so you know the birds sing right along with us. Some of us are about as old as We're named uh, the 7890 is our birth order. Where y'all? I'm a phase seven. Now, perfect seven. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, the team. They don't agree. <laughs> but me and page seven, she's the oldest one up here, so she's talking about being old. <laughs> I was wondering how from Jesus from the message.
that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he has trespassed, and in his sin that he has sinned, and then he shall die. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness, and committeth iniquity, and dieth in them, for his iniquity that he hath done, shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he hath committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. Oh, yeah. Yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his way, saith the Lord. Repent and turn yourselves from your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. That means give it up, people. Cast away from all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Last verse here. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, saith the Lord. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. Amen.
Verse 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. That's right. Now listen That's to me. Right. Revival is for the church. We need to be revived and set on fire. But really, yeah. revival is for the lost. We need to get out into this community, send the gospel light, as they sing about, That's and we right. need to witness to everyone Amen. that is under the sound of our breath, yes. and as they That's hear right. the word of God right. preached, they come under conviction, and come to that old altar place, and give their life to Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. I remember Amen. a night when I was needing the Lord. I remember that yes. night yes. I was in revival, yes. and the Lord come and touched me. And he said, Andrew, you need to be saved. Yeah. And Amen. I said, Lord, what have I got? I remember I made it home that night by the grace of God. I hit my face on my couch in the yeah, house. And on. I called out to Jesus. The words wouldn't come out of my lips. Yeah. It was coming from my heart. That's yeah. right. You've heard That's me say, right. May the 26, 2007, my name was written in the Lamb's Book. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ saved me from my sin. And you did what you did. Listen to me, church. The sins of my mom and dad were the righteousness of my mom and dad. That's not mine. That's right. I own my own sins. You right. church. I own my sin. That's you right. Tonight, have you accepted the fact that you own your own sin? Come on, brother. That's yeah. right. Our sins are ours. Yeah. But they don't have to be. You hear me? Right. They yeah. right. don't That's have to be. Right. They can be covered in the blood of the yeah. precious yeah. lamb of God. Lord. He yeah. sent his precious son named Jesus to die a death yeah. that we yeah. were to die. Come That's on. Right. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. You see, that night that I got saved, it should have been me on that cross. Yeah. It should have been me. But like I said last night, I drove the nails in his hands. Yeah. Yeah. I put the crown of thorns on him. Yeah. I pierced his side. I betrayed him. Yeah. I kissed him on the cheek and turned my back on him. Yeah. I failed him so many times. Come but he's been That's a friend right. that sticks closer than a brother. Yeah. He would never That's leave right. us nor forsake us. No, right. no matter all that wickedness that I did, no matter the very fact that I drove the nails with my sins, yeah. he said, Andrew, just come to me. Yeah. Yeah. Just turn Lord. your heart to repent. I have no pleasure in the death of them that die. I want to read that again to you to get the, the full importance of that. He says, have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? No. Saith the Lord God, mm. and not that he should return from his ways and live. Verse 32, for I have no pleasure in the death of them that die, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. God takes no pleasure in a right. savior that dies and goes to That's right. And Brother Joe was reading out of 2 Peter chapter 3. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3, it's not God's will that any should perish. That's right. That's right. That's right. God doesn't want anyone to perish right. and go to hell. That's right. Listen to me. God doesn't want anyone to die and go to hell. That's right. But he wants every single one of you. And me. Yes. To Come on. Yeah, and right. turn from our ways. Yeah. 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 That night that he saved me, I turned from my evil. I yeah. went in a separate direction. I went yeah. in a total 180 from where I was. Yeah. And he saved me. Now I was I was never a drug or a drug addict. You know, I, I had my fair share of sins like we all do. Yeah. You know, my testimony isn't one that I was on drugs and in jail or something like that, but that doesn't make it any less significant. That's right. Man, that's right. Listen to me. Satan has lied to me countless times trying to tell me, Andrew, you didn't repent with your lips. You didn't confess with your lips. You ain't Satan. I'm old. And you know what I'm telling you? I said, brother. Yeah. 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 I confess the death of my heart and the death of my soul. And he will save you tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you will repent and turn from your evil and your wickedness, he will save you. Psalm chapter 51. 
that we were shaped in iniquity. That's right. Born yeah. into sin. Yeah. There is no way that we can escape sin. That's right. right. Because Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, we are going to sin too. That's right. Yeah. They had it perfect in the garden. If they would have just followed God's commands, you know, I think it would have been perfect still. But they sinned. They right. turned away from God and they sinned. They listened to that serpent, that devil, that old dragon. They listened to him and they sinned. And because of that sin, you and I are going to sin too. We were right. born in sin. It says we were conceived and shaken in sin. Also, right. Romans 3, 23 says, For all have sinned. All, all, sin. all, not some, not a few, not a couple, not many. It says all have all sinned. Amen. Every yep. single one of us have sinned. Yep. Listen to me. We have all yeah. sinned. Amen. We come short of the glory of God. Amen. What is sin? You might ask. It is anything that goes against God. Right. Right. Anything yeah. tonight, listen to me, that goes against God. That's right. That's and you know right. what it is. You'll feel it in your conscience. You'll feel it in your heart. You will right. know what right. sin is when you commit it. That's right. That's right. When you start feeling that guilt that you knew that you did something wrong against God, yeah. you'll feel it upon you. You know what sin is. It's called conviction. That's you right. start to feel that's that right. guilt. Well, listen to me. Romans 3.23 says that all of sin comes short of the glory of God. Right. We come short of God's glory every single day. Amen. Yeah. Yep. Right. We sin just by falling short of God's glory. Do you believe yep. that? Right. We sin just by falling short of His glory every day. Now listen to me. Stay with me. We have all sinned. So, since we have sinned, we owe a sin debt to God. Right. Romans six twenty three says, "For the wages of sin is death." That's right. Yeah. That's right. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our right. Lord. That's right. Now listen. Let's break that down. Real simple for you tonight. The wages of sin is death. That's what right. does that mean? That means that when we sin, we owe a debt to God. Yeah. We are to God. And there's only two ways to pay for that. I want to read that to you. There's two ways you can pay for your sin tonight. You owe a debt to God because you are a sinner. You can pay it two ways. Listen to me. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, 22 says, And without shedding of blood is right. no remission. Right. Without right. shedding of blood is no remission. Say with me, remember here. We're conceived in sin. Yeah. For all of sin. Become short of the glory of God. Right. The wages of sin is death. Right. Okay? Mm. How must it be paid? Yeah. By blood. Oh, yeah. By yeah. blood. Yeah. God that's right. requires blood. Blood. That's right. For the remission of sins. Is what Hebrews you, tells us. Hebrews 9 22 says, Without that blood, there is no remission. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Stay with me. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me, lost sin. <laughs> Listen to me, Max. Listen to me tonight, Christian. Yeah. What comes next? When you feel that conviction, when you feel that guilt, when you feel that spirit drawn, yeah. the Bible says that you must be drawn to be saved. That's right. John chapter 6, verse right. 24 says that no man can come to me except the Father I which has right. sent me draw him. No. Yeah. And I will raise him up the last name. Listen to me. I'm still being simple here. We've Amen. all sinned. Amen. We owe a debt to God. That's right. Blood is the price. That's right. That's right. The Bible says when you feel this conviction and this guilt, that means the Father's drawing you to come to Jesus. Amen. Like I told you about that night in my life, May the 26, 2007, I felt the Father drawing me to come yeah. to Jesus. Listen to me. What do you do next? When you feel that conviction, the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy right. mouth yep. the yeah. Lord Jesus, yeah, and right. shalt believe in thine heart Amen. that God hath raised him from the dead, yeah. thou shalt, shalt be saved. Yep. Listen, yeah. What right. does that mean? Confess. Repent. Yeah. Ask him to come and take over your life and take residence in your heart. Right. That's right. And guess what else? Believe. Believe, believe, right. believe yeah. in yeah. Jesus Christ. Yep. Listen, Amen. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, spells it out for us. The plan of salvation. Jesus Christ came. God says that he loved this world so much. That's right. That's that right. he sent his only son yeah. to die for us. Amen. Now remember this. I was talking about those two ways to pay for your sins. I'm still being simple with you here. You can either die the second death and go to a devil's hill. That's right. And yeah. shed your own blood That's right. to pay for your sins. That's right. How many of you can raise your hand tonight and say, I want to go to hell? I want to party it up with the sinners. I want to be in pain for eternity. Anybody? I didn't think so. Listen to me. You can pay with your own blood by dying that second death. Or, option number two. And this is one other thing. Yeah. The 
accept that God sent a sacrifice for you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Without wood, there is no remission of sin. Right. God sent a man named right. Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. to die in our yeah. place. Right. And if we will just accept that, right. if we will right. accept the fact that Jesus died in our place, ask him to come in and take residence right. in our heart, repent of our sins, which means to turn from it and go in another direction. Believe that Jesus was raised in God's power with yeah. the Holy Spirit from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah. It takes faith. It takes faith. It takes believe that Jesus is who he says he is. He's not slack concerning his promises. Right. He will not fail you if right. you just let him come in and take right. residence in your heart. Amen. Amen. God takes no pleasure, no pleasure in someone not going to hell. Right. It's not his will that any should perish. Or right. Listen to me. God loves you. He doesn't yeah. want any of you to go to hell. That's right. And pay for your own sins. Oh, we say a better way. All we have to do yeah, is accept man. it. Yeah, yeah. Accept yeah. Jesus right yeah. now. Yeah. Your life is saved, and he will change your life forever. Yeah. Listen to me, Savior. Listen to me, say. Listen to me, backslidden. Whoever you are out there. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about now. Oh, yeah. I spilled it out here for you. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Bless you, Lord. Yeah. Like Brother Joe said, we have, as a preacher, we have the heart of God. Yeah. I want to see people saved. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody die in person. Know, you know, right. I've had countless people in their family, that are friends, die in their hell. But I could have done something about it. Yeah. 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 When the Lord said, witness to them, I didn't. Oh, boy. The blood was on my hands, right? Because I didn't listen to the Holy Spirit. This is good. Lord bids you to go talk to your lost loved one, your lost friend, yeah. whoever it is. By all means, do it. Be yep. obedient to God's spirit. Yeah. Man, that's right. Be yeah. obedient to God's spirit. The yeah, Bible says in John chapter 4 that the time now is yeah. that the true worshipers are going to be revealed. That's right. That's and right. those that are true are going to worship Jesus in the power of the spirit and truth. That's so, right. That's right. That's right. I wasted so many Sundays just going to church. Not getting a thing out of it and going home feeling worse than when I came. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the Bible says if you don't worship God in spirit and in truth, you might as well stay home. Right. Yeah. I believe that? You might as well stay home. So you know what? I'm done with the whole dead religion. I'm done with religion. Joe said, 
You know, you better mean it as a man. Because if you don't, you're going to mean it as a man. You hear me? Listen, I told him, I said, every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, you're going to do it either way, man, is what I said to him. So why not do it now? And I saw all the tears of conviction roll upon his eyes. Yeah, this is Y'all have seen it. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The conviction come upon him. Yeah. And the Lord moved me in his spirit. He yeah. said, Brother, ask him if he needs to pray. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so man. I said, Brother, do we need to get down and pray right now? And he said, Yes. He was under conviction. Yeah. Listen to me. Some of you might be under conviction tonight. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Obey that spirit. Yeah. Still yeah. Small voice. Yeah. Obey. Yeah. Obey. That's right. We come under conviction and the tears were rolling. We went down on our knees and started praying. I prayed with the Lord, laid on my heart. And listen to me, I can't say the prayer for this, brother. That's right. That's right. I can't That's say right. the prayer in my pocket. Sign this card and you're going to heaven. Shake my hand and you're going to heaven. Say this prayer after me and you're going to heaven. That's not how it works, Chase. Right. Listen to right. me, that's not how it works. Hey, that's right. But I said, brother, you praise the Lord. I said, if you need to say anything to the Lord, you tell him. That's yeah. right. That's right. And that brother went to repent and listen to him. He said, Lord, save me. Yeah. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hey, yeah. Save me from hell, oh yeah. Yeah. Listen to this. I was right beside him on my face, listening to a sinner. Praise the Lord. The yeah. chills right all over yeah. me. Lord, save me from hell. Yeah. Save me from hell, Lord. I don't want to go to hell. Save me, Lord. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And he come up on his knees. I said, well, how do you feel, brother? He said, I feel like a new man. It's nothing that Andrew could do. Right. It's nothing that Joe or Jackson or Thomas right. or any of you, Nick, whoever, whatever brother preached this week to you, it's not what they can do for you. That's right, yeah, that's right. It's what God can do for you. Yeah, right. Amen. Through his son, Jesus. That's right. He shed his blood for you. Yeah, so that we don't have to. Thank Remember you, what Jesus. I told you? Without blood, there is no remission of sins. That's right, man. That's you right. cannot get into heaven without blood. That's right. Jesus oh. is that door. Yeah, yeah, man. My favorite That's right. verse in the Bible, John chapter 14, verse 6. He says, For I am the way. Was, this is yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I am the way, the truth, That's and the life. That's right. That's right. No man yeah. comes to the Father. Yeah. Except through me. Jesus is the only way. Yeah, blood yeah, blood yeah. must be paid for your sins. Right. Do you want it to be your blood or do you want it to be Jesus' blood? Amen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whose blood do you want it to be? To yeah. Yeah. Do you want to die and go to hell and pay for your sins? Pay off that debt that you owe God? Or do you want it to be Jesus? Listen to me. When you take out a loan with the bank, what do you got to do? You got to pay it back, right? Good interest. Jesus' gift is free without interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. His gift is free without interest. Yeah. Praise we owe a sin debt to God, church. Just like, just like when you have a mortgage, you owe that debt to the bank. You've got to pay it back. It's the same way in the night with Jesus. I'm getting serious with you tonight, church. Listen to me. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Try. There is no other way. Many have tried to find that other way. He says that those that try to enter into the sheep's fold in any other way are nothing but thieves and robbers. Try. Yeah. Just trying to, to just as I reached about God, Mom and Daddy shut down to heaven. Yeah. Well, my, my grandma was a praying grandma. <coughs> Surely her prayers were good enough for me. My, my mom and my dad were righteous. They raised me right. Surely they were good enough for me. Yeah. Listen to me. Your sin is upon you. Right. You have to be accountable for your sins. Right. I'll read this to you. Verse 20 again. I got this under one. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But... Verse 21. But, I love that word, don't you? But, if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he hath committed, and keep all my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, yeah. he shall surely live. Yeah. He shall not die. Tonight, if you're wicked, if you're vile, if you're a sinner, or maybe you're a good person, and you don't know Jesus, yeah, come on. Yeah. he will forgive you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All you got to do is ask him. Listen, I'm not up here 
to work this up or anything. The Lord has laid this message on my heart for yeah, somebody. Yeah, I try. Somebody here tonight needs to hear this. That's right. That's right. Our sins are ours, not somebody else's. That's right. That's right. I was talking to Joe before we started. What if tonight was the last message you got to hear? Yeah. 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 What if tonight this altar call would have in a few minutes? What if it was the last invitation that you had? Come on, that's Christ? right. That's right. What if it was your last chance? That's right. You know, I've heard Brother Jackson's testimony. He said, if I didn't come to the Lord when I did, there wouldn't be any more chances for me. Yeah. How many of you can say the same thing? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. That you know that God gave you his very last chance. Thank you. If you didn't turn to him, yeah. you'd be destined for him. If he wouldn't call you again. Remember, I said you must be drawn to be saved. Yeah. You yeah. can't just go work this thing up. That's right. You can't say, well, I'm going to go to church today and get saved. That's not how it works. Listen to me. You have to be drawn from yeah. God's spirit. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's right. And, you know, people call it butterflies in the stomach. I call it the Holy Spirit. That's right. Yeah. It's beating the heart out of your chest. Yeah, that's right. God's calling you and drawing you. And you know you're a sinner. You know you've messed up. Yep. You know you have a debt to pay. Yep. That's right. That's right. What are you going to do about it? Oh, yeah. What if tonight was your last invitation oh, to pray to Jesus? Yeah. Don't you accept it? I preached about last Sunday, the marriage supper of the Lamb. There is a marriage supper coming. That's yeah, right. That's right. right. It says, for many are called, but few are chosen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Jesus sends out invitations to all of us. Amen. He sends out an invitation to all of us. Whether we accept that invitation is up to us. That's right. Yeah, right. if we do, if we've accepted that invitation, we're going to preach to the church for a minute. Yeah. If we've accepted that invitation, we got to put on our wedding garment. That's right. And get ready for that wedding garment. Come on. Right. We got to put on our wedding garment. Yeah. What does that mean? That we have to live righteously. Right. We have to be clothed in fine linen, prepared right. for bride and adorned right. for her husband. Yeah. That's right. Like Brother Joe says, for the first time in my life, I'm expecting I'm going to be a bride. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to be a bride. That's right. Jesus is a yeah. bridegroom. He is coming back someday to take his bride home. Yeah. The bride being the church. The blood right. bought, the born again, the saved of this earth. Yeah. He was going to draw us up out of here. Yeah. 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 He's going to draw us into the house and he was going to reap this earth. Yeah. Will you be at that marriage supper of the wedding? Yeah. Have Amen. you been written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Amen. When they get out that guest book, yeah. The Lamb's Book of Life. And they're reading off the guest list. And they got the bouncer at the door, right? Yeah. Picture this with me. Mm. As they're going down that list, will they see Andrew Davis? Will they see Jackson Wilkins? Yeah. Will they see Nick Fields? Will they see Joe Milby? Mm. That's right. Will they see your name? Yeah, yeah. When God looks through that book, when he sees your name, this is what he's going to do. Yeah. Come on in this marriage. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on yeah. in this marriage. Right. But you can grow cold and indifferent. That's right. Listen to right. 
You can grow cold and indifferent. It says right here in the book, chapter 18. You can grow cold and indifferent. You can backslide. You're right. Yeah. Believe me. You're right. Amen. Look it yeah. up. Look it up in the Word for yourself. Right. Ezekiel chapter 18. You can backslide. You can grow cold, church. Yes. What we have to do to avoid that is put on our wedding garments. That's right. Amen. That's right. Be clothed in fine Amen. Amen. Desire and hunger after these scriptures. The Bible says in the Beatitudes, Matthew, blessed are those that hunger and thirst for yeah. righteousness. That's right. They shall be filled. Amen. The reason I can raise your hand and say, I hunger to do what is right. Yeah, that's right. I will to yeah, put on that yeah. fine linen to do right. what is right for Jesus. Amen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If you don't, they've even been saved. That's right. If you don't have that desire and that hunger, have you even been saved? Oh, Are you backslidden? Are you growing cold and indifferent about the Lord? As Brother Joe talked about, people laughing at the message of God. This is serious. That's it is. Right. Right. up here and preaches. It's not a game. That's right. This is a divine message from God Almighty. Right. Yeah. Don't be mad at me. That's right. This is yeah. that's a message from God Almighty. Man. We have to heed to it. That's right. And if you heed to it, you'll be one of those that's prepared. That's you'll right. be one of those that is called upon. But it says the righteous, if he goes to wickedness, he shall surely die. That's right. That's right. That's, right. that's Bible, people. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not equal. How many of you tonight have said, the Lord's not very fair. He's not very equal. <laughs> well, he blesses those that do evil and wickedness. But I, I'm sitting there trying to do the best I can, and I'm not prospering at all. I don't have any money in my bank account. You know, I, I don't have a very good house. I, I, I don't have a very good car. How many of you think that the, the ways of the Lord are not equal? Listen to me. God says, our ways are not equal. Yeah, right. These right. ways are righteousness right. and justice and purity. Amen. Right. Amen. These ways will lead you to peace. That's right. With Him. Amen. And one day will lead you to heaven. Amen. If you obey. If you listen. The righteous, listen to me, righteous. Don't turn. I want to exhort you tonight. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. I want to exhort you and build you up tonight. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, righteous man. Amen. Yeah. People that hunger for the Lord. And those that, you know, might just be a little bit hungry, get on fire for God. Get into a church. A God fearing, Bible believing, Bible reading church. Amen. A man of God behind the pulpit. Not a woman, but a man of God behind the pulpit. Yeah. He's going to teach the truth of God's word. Amen. And you can grow in their way. Righteous. Right. Listen to me. I exhort you. Grow with the Lord. That's right. Be accountable for your own sins. When I sin, though I've been saved, I still have to repent. Right. The Amen. Bible says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yep. Right. Right. Heaven is coming soon. Yeah. Amen. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Look at the sky behind us, people. Yeah. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. He's going to split the eastern sky. Right. That's right. He's yeah. going to come back without a moment's notice. In the twinkling of an eye, there is nothing right now that still has to be done for Jesus to come back. Do you believe that? Right. I'm talking about the rapture here. A lot of people, like me and Joe was talking about last night, a lot of people get the rapture in the second coming of Christ. That's right. That's right. Listen to me. The second coming of Christ is when he comes back with his saints. Amen. That's right. But when he comes back in the rapture, he's going to take this church and the earth. That's right. As it says in 1 Thessalonians, those of us that are alive and remain are going to be called up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. Yeah. We're going to have a grand revival, an old time revival up there. Yeah. We're going to be on. Jesus. How many of you tonight want to be a part of that revival? Yeah. 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 I'm going to be a part of that revival. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing going to happen here. There's nothing that still has to be fulfilled for Jesus to split. That's right. We're going to come down to moments right. notice. As a thief in the night says, yeah. nothing has to, you know, and a lot of people like Brother Joe's talking about it. I, I just keep thinking about it. Matthew 24, it's the signs of the times, right? Yeah. Those signs are for Jesus' second coming. A lot right. of people say wars right. and rumors of wars and, and people are going to hate and persecute Christians. And yeah, that's happening all around us. It's happened right. for a long time. Listen to me. Yeah. There is nothing that has to still be fulfilled right. for Jesus to come back. That's right. Nothing. Right. It could happen right now under the sound of my voice. Praise That's right. But it's not me to do it. The voice of the archangel. Yeah. The trumpet of God's voice. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to meet the Lord there. Yeah. And I can't wait. 
But righteous, I want to exhort you because I'm winding down here. Joe, come this way and get us a song, would you? Jackson, could you come sing for us? Listen, tonight. righteous, I want to exhort you. Keep doing what you're doing. Hold on to the faith. Don't turn from your righteousness. Don't turn from it. Keep on pushing through. Keep on going with God. He will not fail you. He'll be a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Keep on pushing forward. Help me, Lord. Keep on pushing forward. But well, what's the scripture also say? And yes, I think it's so important. 27, verse 27, Ezekiel chapter 18. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. If the wicked hear not. You know, you can be a good person and still be wicked. Yep. You, me? Yeah. you can be a good person and still be a wicked person. Oh, yes. It's what's in your heart. It's what's in your heart. You can give me a shirt off your back if I was a man. And still be hidden from him. Because yep. you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. Listen to me. If the wicked, if the, the sinner, if the alcoholic, if the drug addict, if the por pornography, if the people that are addicted to pornography, if, if those that are addicted to the things of this world, if the sinner, if the liar, if the cheater, if the adulterer, whatever it is, if you're a sinner tonight, your sins are held over your own head, not your own days. Right. You're accountable for your sins. But the Bible says, if the wicked, if the sinner will turn from his wickedness, if the wicked will turn from his wickedness, he shall surely live. He shall be saved. Call upon the name of Jesus. Romans 10, 9, one more time for you. I'm going to read to you one more time to get the importance of this tonight. At this altar call, we're going to have that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yep. What does that yep. mean? People say, what's, it, what's the difference in confession and repentance? Confession is when you tell God what you did wrong. Repentance is when you turn from it and go in another direction. Right. You have to confess your sins to God. You must turn away from those sins. Listen to me. You have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You have to repent and turn from that. You ask Him to take over your life and take residence in your heart. I remember that night I asked Jesus to be the Lord of my life, to take over my sin and, and cast it into the sea of forgetfulness, to save me from hell. And guess what He did? He took that sin from me. He reached down and He took it from me. He saved my soul that night. And now, guess what? I've turned from my evil, wicked ways. And that blood that I was talking about is not required of me anymore. I accepted Jesus' blood. I accepted Jesus' blood, and you can too. But there's one more thing you have to do to be saved. Come on. You have to believe with your heart that Jesus is God's Son. And that God raised Him from the dead. That's right. If you will confess... Turn from your ways. Ask Him to come into your heart and take up residence to save you from your sin and from hell. And believe that He is who He says He is. You will be saved. Amen. It's a hard issue. Too many times, like I told you about the brother, our pride gets in the way. We think, well, we're good. We got it figured out. We can make it to heaven without God. How many times do you read about the Bible that people can make it to heaven without God? Without Jesus Christ. Come on. They were at the Tower of Babel, they tried to build a tower to reach heaven on their own without God. And God reached down and he scattered them abroad, spread their language. It doesn't work. People have tried it. People have tried to get to heaven without Jesus Christ, and it does not work. I am living proof that it does not work. The only thing that works is blood. Your blood, if it's your blood, sin to hell. But if you accept Jesus' blood, if you accept Jesus Christ's blood, heaven will be in your home. That new heaven that John saw coming down that old city. I'm going to be there. How about you? Come on! We're going to sing a song of invitation tonight. On this Sunday night, Sabbath day of the Lord. This day is the most holy to the Lord. We are going 
to sing a song of invitation. Sinner, why don't you come? Lost, why don't you come? I told you what it means to be lost. I told you what it means to be a sinner. We're all sinners. The Bible says we have all sinned. Amen. Every brother that's ever preached a message, we've all sinned. I'm not perfect because I preach. I've sinned so many times I can't even count it. But the Lord's forgiveness was good enough for me. That's right. From time to time, I have to turn to repent. God, have forgive me. I messed up. I'm sorry. And I mean, the Lord's forgive me for the wrong I've done. Yep. You can't do it just because I'm lost. The Bible says in Galatians, walk in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made you free. Christ can make you free tonight. Amen. You know, if you're battling addiction, or drugs, alcohol, pornography, whatever it is, you can be set free tonight. And if you're a Christian and you've got, got such a burden on your heart for your loss and your loved ones, maybe you've lost your loved ones, maybe you're so bound and chains from Satan tonight. I've been there. Maybe you're so bound by chains of Satan tonight. You just need a touch from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Many times I've heard the Lord preach. We need an experience with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So many people forget about it. You know, we might have been saved. We might believe in Jesus and God. But so many times we forget about the good old Holy Spirit. Yeah. Sometimes we just need a touch from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I want to say, why don't you come tonight? If you're in chains in any way, there's a place to go. Seat. That's where I told you where I was. I was on my couch at home. But listen to me. I might not have made it home that night. I know the Lord was dealing with me. His grace and His mercy was with me. But what if this was your last invitation? What if this was your last altar call? What if this was the last chance that you got to pray to Jesus and ask Him to save you? You might not make it home that night. You could be killed by a drunk driver and a wreck on the way home. You could hit a deer and die. Listen to me. You could have a heart attack before you leave the, the, the shadow of this pavilion. Right. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. God has given someone a nice space to repent. Don't turn him away. We're going to sing. Why don't you pray? Stand up in the building. If you need prayer tonight, always remember Romans 5 says, where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. Yep. Then I 